In January 1994, Northbridge, a community in the San Fernando Valley in California, experienced a 6.7 magnitude earthquake that killed 57 people and caused $20 billion in damage. As a result of the Northbridge earthquake, enough of 1994, the assumption of steel moment frame connection failures being limiting to yielding were, de were debunked. For years, the seismic building codes enabled buildings to withstand intense ground shaking without structural collapse, but with some potential structural damage. Structural steel is an attractive building material because of its ability to exhibit ductile behavior compared to other materials, leading to high use in seismic areas. In the 1960s, engineers determined that steel moment frames were the most ductile systems, were not susceptible to seismic activity, and that damage was limited to only ductile yielding of members and connections. After the 1994 Northridge earthquake, at least 200 buildings reported the presence of brittle fracture, leading to the investigation of steel moment frame connection failures. The two most common beam to column connections are a welded connection between the column flange and a beam flange, and a shear plate bullet connection between the column flange and the web. After the Northbridge earthquake, studies showed that fractures initiated near the intersection of the beam flange and the column flange. The discovery of brittle fractures led researchers to the analysis of design assumptions, material identification, constructability, and specified recommendations. Design assumptions. In order to reduce labor costs, the use of larger framing members increased to reduce the number of connections, but resulted in larger strain demands for each connection. Studies show that the effective length factor, K, is dependent on the ratio G of column stiffness to girder stiffness at each connection. The overestimation of K values based on use of smaller columns resulted in an increase of stiffness at the connections, likely reducing the translation at the joints and increasing the stress concentrations. After the 1970s, when significant research was completed, scrap-based production became standard practice for steel production facilities. As a result, the yield strength of the beams became consistent with grade 50 material. Thus, the weld metal and the column to beam connections became undermatched. When designing moment connections, it is important to remember the means and methods of your project. Constructability can make or break the budget. Designs that require the wildcat maneuver for welding are known to lead to substandard welds. This requires more intensive field testing in already precarious situations. Research showed that overmatching welded connection strength significantly above base metal strength does not substantially benefit the overall configuration or increase the factor of safety against failure. Approved temperature ranges that have been shown to produce the minimum required toughness for each electrode class and welding method are provided in pre-qualified procedures. The heat affected zone is the portion of the welded joint that has experienced peak temperatures during welding that are high enough to produce microstructural changes in the material. Based on preliminary results, welding with heat inputs ranging from 30 to 70 kilojoules per inch should not result in a substantial degradation of heat-affected zone toughness. Studies indicated that prolonged exposure of welding electrodes to the atmosphere resulted in inclusion of greater concentrations of hydrogen, which may be a source of hydrogen-induced brittle fracture. Increased need for visual inspection include the following. Identification of materials, qualification of welding personnel, use of approved welding procedures, proper storage of electrodes, proper fit-up according to welding procedure, and increased visual inspection of multi-pass welds. The information presented following the Northbridge earthquake of 1994 suggests a possible link between construction defects and or failures resulting from a variety of design testing and inspection issues involving high stress moment frame connections and resulted in changes that have been adopted in many building jurisdictions. Resulting studies have identified specific variables that may, be, that may have been at fault and have developed an increased awareness of the need for greater visual inspection to prevent further failures.